Connect the integrals. We have to approximate area using rectangles, either with the leftmost point or the rightmost point. Then we are going to look at graph, graphing functions and determine the area enclosed, the average value of a function, and these examples are for definite or I mean definite integrals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven problems for chapter four. I selected. You can select others, of course. For chapter five, consumer surplus, producer surplus at the equilibrium point, and some differential equations. For chapter six, to evaluate a function, uh, finding the uh, max, relative max, relative min, what we did last time. Um, a simple example with a graphing calculator on linear regression, and uh, one example for domain. What would you like to start with? Anyone, please, what would you like to start with? Uh, let's do the area ones. Okay, so we want to start with 17 on page 425. Good. Thank you. I'm going to open the book. Here it is. And I need to 425, 425. Good. Find the area of the region bounded by the graphs. And I selected this one. So y equals x plus 2 and y equals x squared. First of all, we have to graph the functions. And we have to find points of intersection. So graph plus points of intersection. y equals this, y equals this. Uh, obviously, I can set them equal to each other. Moving everything to one side is quadratic. Two solutions, please. x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. You can use the feature of the calculator. That's fine at this point and get the solutions. I prefer to factor because it's too easy. So x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is negative 1, y is 1. So when I graph these two functions, they better intersect at 2 comma 4 and negative 1 comma 1. So I'm ready to graph them now. The easiest one is uh, y equals x squared, which we know how to graph. No, no problem there at all. So this is y equals x squared. And then uh, to graph y equals x plus 2, remember the x and y intercepts. When x is 0, y is 2. So 0, 2. And when y is 0, x is negative 2. So negative 2, 0. 0, 2 and a negative 2, 0. Now, make sure that they intersect at negative 1, 1, a negative 1, 1, and 2, comma 4. So here's the graph. So we see the area that is enclosed. We will shade it in, and we will determine it. 
So it's between negative 1 right here and positive 2 right here. So we know that in order to find the area, it's the integral, the definite integral between negative 1 and positive 2 from above above minus below and all I need to do is just evaluate so I get negative x to the third over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x in the correct order from negative 1 to 2 and I plug in the numbers negative 8 thirds 4 over 2 is 2 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus, careful parentheses, 1 third uh, plus 1 half minus 2. So I determine the number, negative 8 thirds, this is plus 6, this is minus 1 third, this is negative 1 half, and this is plus 2. Remember, this area is enclosed between two graphs. Must be positive. Negative 8 thirds minus 1 third is negative 9 thirds, so this is negative 3. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, and negative 1 half. So this is 5 minus 1 half, 9 halves. Now let's go back and see if you have any questions on any of the steps. Anyone, please. Any questions on any of these steps? Anyone? Okay. So this is done. What would you like to continue with? We know it all. Everything is clear. We don't want to continue reviewing. Do we have any questions? Is anyone with me, please? Uh, can we do um, yes. the substitution? Yes. You mean the integrals? Yeah. Okay. So on page 434, 434, and this one. Excellent. I'm going to share my screen. Good pick. One page 434, 434. I selected 21, 46, 59, and then we can go back to 425. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. So again, uh, 21, uh, 46, and 59. Let's see why I selected those. 21. So here's 21. So this is the integral from dx over 1 plus 7x. dx, of course, it's up there. And they're telling us, of course, x cannot be negative 1 7 because if it is, the function is undefined. Good. Any suggestions? It's okay if you're wrong. Just tell me how would you um, attack this problem. How would you start? How would you think about it? It's okay if you're wrong. Just say something, please. So let u be 1 plus 7x, du equals 7dx, 
and we need a 7 and 1 7. Multiplying the numerator by 7 and multiplying the denominator by 7 will not change anything. So this is the du. So we have 1 over 7 du over u. Now we're asking ourselves what function prime is 1 over u. Anyone remembers which function we differentiate to get 1 over u? Natural log. Excellent. So 1 over 7 natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. So please never forget the absolute value. So the final answer will be, and I have to go back and put this in. So 1 over 7 natural log of the absolute value, 1 plus 7x plus a constant c, and this is finished. Any questions on this problem? Okay, let's see 46. So this was 21. Let's see 46. Why did I select 46? Here it is. The integral from 0 to 1 from 2x e to x squared dx. Would you like to suggest anything here? Any potential substitution? Is u um, e to the x squared? e is a friendly function. This is the problem because it's, oh, so it's x squared. Exactly. So du equals 2x dx. Awesome. I already have it. So this is e to u du. Remember not to copy the limits of integration. These limits of integration are for x, not for u. It will happen in this case that they will be the same. Because when I plug in 0 here, I get u to be 0. When I plug in 1 here, I get u to be 1. But it's very rare. Unusual, I would say. So this is e to u from 0 to 1. I plug in 1, I get e minus. When I plug in 0, I get 1. Um, 59. Any questions on this problem? Let me know, please. Okay. And 59. Where is 59? Here it is. The integral from negative 1 to 0 from x cubed dx divided by 2 minus x to the fourth everything to the seventh. Did I manage to copy from two problems? No, I didn't. Oh, that's good. Okay. Remember every time we have a definite integral we always have to look at this function and say is it is it continuous on 0, 1? Yes it is. x is continuous everywhere, e to a power continuous everywhere. Same thing here. So I have to make sure that 2 minus x to the fourth is not 0 between negative 1 and 0. Because if it is, then this function is not continuous on negative 1, 0. So can this be 0? 2 equals x to the fourth, or x equals the fourth root of 2. But the fourth root of 2 is a number greater than 0. So this, this is undefined for the fourth root of 2. But the fourth root of 2 is not a number between negative 1 and 0. It's a positive number. It's not between negative 1 and 0. So the function is safe. It's continuous on negative 1, 0. So I can find the integral. So can anyone tell us? It's OK if you're wrong. Just say something, please. So I know you're with me.
Can anyone start the substitution for this one? Anyone, please? Can anyone give us a substitution or a potential substitution for this one? Is it 2 minus x to the fourth? Excellent. Power? du equals negative 4, x to the third, dx. Awesome. I have x to the third. I have dx, of course, but I don't have negative 4. I multiply and divide by negative 4. It's just a simple constant, a factor. Very easy to make an adjustment of a factor. Multiply by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So then I have negative 1 fourth in front. Do not copy the limits of integration, please. This is du, and this is u to the seventh. Now, when x is negative 1, negative 1 to the fourth is positive 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. When the upper limit for x is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2. The upper limit for u will be 2. I will change this into the integral from 1 to 2 from u to negative 7 du. And of course, I have negative 1 fourth, u to negative 6 over negative 6 from 1 to 2. Leave the constant outside, multiply it and get 1 over 24 and leave it alone u to negative 6 is 1 over u to the 6th. 1 over 2 to the 6th minus 1. When I plug in 2, I get 1 over 2 to the 6th. When I plug in 1, I get 1. You can leave it alone. S is. Uh, to finish up the integrals, I don't know why I chose 6 on 425. Let's see. And of course, feel free to choose other problems.